guys, welcome, oh my gosh, when was the last time we had one of those? A month ago? Maybe three weeks ago? Oh, a long time. Um, first of all, I want to apologize because there were all the kind of shit happening on the channel. Like, I was trying to pull a new schedule that I figured out, which was sometimes half of the new schedule was there, half wasn't. I know there I know there was like lack of videos in some I know like if someone is watching like my every video they had to have like mind fuck what the hell is happening on this channel Angie what the hell are you doing? You're not telling us anything. Why what? What the hell? Yeah ladies and gentlemen my life is back to normal at least partially. I was planning to do a schedule where I have like two videos every day and right now i am realizing that yeah that was a stupid move that was a stupid idea uh yeah i i'm com completely giving this idea up um and i saw so i'm sorry i i can't do this but i think i will like with uh monday this is the only thing that will happen it will only happen on monday okay guys okay have it in your heads only monday on Monday, I will switch between Honey Pop and Tales of Borderlands, which I believe you were able to see, like one episode of. Yeah, you were able to see one episode of. I will switch between them. Uh, first of all, because I don't want to record the whole Tales of Borderlands in advance and begin to upload it after I'm done with Honey Pop. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm going to switch it. So like one week there will be Honey Pop, the other week there will be Tales. Uh, especially that I feel like Honey Pop is uh, it's a very light like game, but not everyone likes it. I mean, it's cool to watch like one or two episodes, but I know not everyone is going to sit down and watch like 30 episodes of Honey Pop because how much you can stand. Even if I say I'm going to keep only the funny bits, so I'm gonna switch them, uh, and you know, you will get tiles and you will get the honey pop so you get the story and you get the boobies you know everyone's happy right tissue box what is wrong with you why are you interrupting why are you interrupting with tissue box anyway back to not being crazy and mad what was happening here in my life which was totally crazy was that for past few weeks i was trying to get a job and i had a lot of problems with it i did at first like i went for the very um physical simple little jobs that you know you don't need any qualification which i don't have you know the work wasn't easy but you know i could manage it it was harsh but i could manage it but the manager lady was such a fucking bitch. But basically, um, because I was in this moment where I was kind of, uh, I will, I w was in the anxious state pretty much all the time because of my situation, um, because I had some regrets of my choices, uh, in the long term of. You know, long term fine kind of thing. When I was thinking, what will be in ten years? Will I be working this shop in ten years, or in 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 any shop in ten years? What will really happen? What can happen? Um, I was a little bit of uh, you know, uh, anxious about things, uh, which I feel everyone is if they do job just for money and not because they like it and they don't know where they are going in life especially if you're a person like me which really needs some personal dev development some personal growth and i kind of was you know anxious about this but i thought that you know i can do that for a few years or a year or two i, I can try and finish studies thanks to this money and, and get further on but until that I did have my doubts which I think it's obvious I was in a very anxious state and I have anxiety as you know and I was tired and then when someone just shouts me for no reason and is being bitchy it was it was very very stressful for me going to work so I was really close to giving up on this job and was so anxious that I 
they did not come to the job for one day and I got fired pretty much because that's how Poland works. But after a week, you know, I was in this state when I was up and down with my mood all the time and basically uh, this is also the reason why I couldn't like add a recovery or record or whatever recovery. I tried to stream but it, it didn't always like work the way I wanted. Recently I realized that my uh, my computer really doesn't like fucking streaming because I don't know why it began to like the streams is just phrasing it, it's just like so there was a lot of stress going my way so that's why my channel was all over the place also if if you were um if you are observing you realize i delayed in my second child because i had enough time to record for this or edit and i was like i really want to focus on this one channel here this gaming channel and uh where i'm going with that <laughs> you're wondering and um what happened next pretty much was i was trying to do youtube i was trying to do me but you know my mood was up and down i was looking for a job uh, offers i was like yeah i could get that but will i like working there will i be all stressed out and all tired again does it even really make sense anymore i was i was really really not um not into that and a, little, a long while ago, uh, I was actually kind of, uh, I applied for a tester job a long time ago and never got the answer. So I was, okay, let's see if there are some more tester uh, job uh, offers. Which And I found one in the world. I was like, okay, okay, let's, let's try again. I did send my uh, resume to them. I got a call. I got the interview. Uh, the interview went well. I got I got to the training and now I am a QA. Uh, and if you don't know what QA is, it's a quality assurance. This is how we are called. I am a functionality game tester. If you want to know, feel like doing this job is like a very important change in my life, and it's important because I can say I'm feel happy. I I can say I am. I feel calm. I I just you know I have um the job to support myself and I have a job that makes me happy because basically we're not training we are already uh, doing our job basically and yeah I, I like it it's a really cool thing it's um I'm trying to say is that I'm happy right now I got a really good game tester job I'm QA now I want to be this person I want to work in this IT environment and I want to try and uh, develop in this way. And even if I would be like QA on daily basis and have some little projects on the side after I finish to this, I, I would be fine with it. I would have my money. And uh, with time, of course, my pay in SQA races too, which is, I feel, logical and normal, etc. And yeah, I, I just feel like... Uh, this is a really good thing that happened. Um, I feel like I have a plan for my life a little bit more, and I'm not in the state where I doubt my choices. I I know that usually your choices uh, doesn't show you how good or how bad they are after uh, right you done them, but every time you did something very important um, that you know a massive decision in your life you, you think of it analyzing it right after even though you know that for upcoming uh weeks days or whatever your decision why it not make sense to you but it's just human nature so obviously we have doubts obviously we are thinking if we didn't do something stop it because that's very possible with life and uh and everything and what I am um, I did is follow my dreams but there are many people who try following their dreams and didn't succeed and you're just scared that you might be one of those people too but I'm happy I did that I'm happy at where I am right now I really hope to 
grow in that field. I really hope to be part of the world, the part of the world of the programmers, QAs, you know, people who make games amazing, who make games uh, better. I, I really hope that I'll be able to make sure some games are uh, playable. So yeah, I am very happy place right now. Um, the schedule will continue to be like I said, the Monday will be switchable and the rest um, and the rest will be going, it will be changing a little um, but it will be going in the right direction I feel so yeah thank you everyone for watching this very long video sorry for making so long but I kind of feel like telling you more about my life and what is happening and I haven't done that in a while so thank you for that